Good morning, everybody. Thanks for being with us this morning. I'm glad you're here for this video. I just wanted to see if you knew a song that I remember from when I was a kid. Do you remember the song, Head and Shoulders, Knees and Toes? Do you remember that one? You want to sing it with me? Just a little bit. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. I know, you're probably too old for that song. That was a song for when you were really little, right? But I wanted to sing that with you today because I figured you knew it. And because in our lesson for today, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, the Apostle Paul talks about something like that. He says, the body does not consist of one part, but of many. If the foot should say, because I'm not a hand, I'm not a part of the body, that would not make it less a part of the body. And if the ear should say, because I'm not an eye, I'm not a part of the body, that would not make it less a part of the body. Or if the whole body were an eye, how would you smell? And if the whole body were an ear, how would you see? <laughs> That's interesting to think about. Think about that in terms of the song, Head and Shoulders, Knees and Toes. What would it be like if you didn't have knees? How would you walk? You'd have to walk around like this. How would you feed yourself if you didn't have elbows? How would you get your food to your mouth? There's good reasons why God gave us each of the parts of our body. We need those to live. And the Bible says the same thing is true with you and me. Because he says, we are each a part of the body. You see, that's what this passage goes on to say. He says, you are the body of Christ and individually members of it. Which means, I need you and you need me. Just like you need your mommy and your daddy and you need your brothers and sisters we need other people around us because they help us in life and they're a part of this community with us. And even more so, we need them to believe in Jesus. So they, like us, are part of the body of Christ and will be with us in eternity with God. That's what it means to be the body of Christ. That if I say to you, I don't need you in my life, that's like saying I don't need elbows or saying I don't need knees. I need those things, don't you? God knows we need them. We need each other. This is our life Sunday at Holy Cross. It means we're thinking about how much every person's life matters. Your life matters, and our life matters. And the life of every baby who's still in the mommy's tummy, and the life of every old person who's older than your great-grandma or grandpa, is so important because we need each other in the body of Christ. We are, in Jesus, one body. And to show us how much we are worth to him, Jesus even gave up his body for us by dying on the cross. And then he rose again to give us life. And Jesus said this, because I live, you also will live. I am in you, and you are in me, just as I am in the Father. That's John 14, 20. It means that Jesus lives in you and in me, and so together we are one body in him. So, next time you wash your body in the bathtub or shower, think about that, how important every part of your body is, and how important everybody else is to you in Jesus. Will you pray with me? Dear Jesus, thank you uh, how, for how important we are to you, that you've made us members of your body. Help us to remember that other people should be as important to us as our own body parts are important to us, because every person is important to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for being with us this week, boys and girls. Have a wonderful week.